For 45 years, the gas-powered Ford F-150 has been the best-selling pickup truck in America, with the Chevy Silverado taking second or third place. With the ongoing transition to EVs, last year, Ford revealed the all-electric F-150 Lightning pickup. Chevy has just thrown down the gauntlet with its reveal of the electric Silverado. In this video, I'll perform a side-by-side -side comparison of the exterior, interior, tech, performance, and pricing of these two electric pickups, and we'll find out if the F-150 is in danger of losing its number one spot to the Silverado. The gas-powered Ford F-150 has been America's best-selling truck for an impressive 45 years. The Chevy Silverado has held the second or third spot. Major vehicle manufacturers have been pivoting to its electric vehicles, and to that end, Ford introduced the electric F-150 Lightning last year. Chevy has just followed suit with the reveal of the electric Silverado. The Silverado makes for a very compelling competitor to the F-150 Lightning. Both trucks have taken the safe route of keeping their exterior designs close to their gas siblings. And this is probably smart given that the manufacturers are looking to convince existing gas truck customers to buy the electric pickups. Both have also decided to offer the trucks in a crew cab format, which is the most popular configuration sold. What is different between these two is that the Silverado has been designed on the Altium platform, which is specifically created for EVs, while the Ford F-150 rides on a modified internal combustion engine truck platform. Like its combustion sibling, the electric F-150 is also made from aluminum panels. Both also get large frunks, although Chevy hasn't published the actual capacity. Chevy hasn't provided exterior dimensions either, but importantly, we know that the Silverado's bed is 5 foot 11 inches compared to the Lightning's 5 foot 6 inches. Not only is the bed longer, but it's more versatile too. With Chevy's optional flexible mid-gate, you can drop down the rear seats in a 60-40 configuration or even drop down the entire rear row and remove the glass to get varying configurations for the bed. And in keeping with ongoing design trends, the fronts have a continuous light bar signifying their electric vehicles. On the inside, the Ford F-150 comes in a range of seating options including cloth, leather, and a high-end leather Ford calls Nirvana leather. It is not clear what the upholstery choices are in the Silverado, but I expect they would be similar. The top-of-the-line Silverado RST trim gets a fixed glass roof. For instrumentation, the Ford F-150 gets a 12-inch digital cluster. Higher trims get a 15.5-inch touchscreen tablet like in the Marquis. The higher RST trim of the Silverado gets an 11-inch instrument cluster with a 17-inch horizontal format infotainment screen. The navigation system of the F-150 in Silverado will factor in your payload, towing load, weather and traffic when planning out road trips. Both pickups are neck-to-neck -neck when it comes to basic tech and safety features like collision avoidance and features like over-the-air updates, blind spot mirrors and lane keep assist. But they are also surprisingly in step when it comes to advanced tech features. Notably, both offer hands-free driving assist technology that can be used in certain conditions. In Ford's case, it's Blue Cruise, and in the case of the Chevy, it's Super Cruise. Both also offer vehicle-to-load technology, which allows you to charge another truck or power tools or appliances. In Ford's case, the max plug load is 9.6 kilowatt with 11 outlets, while the Silverado offers up to 10 outlets with a total of 10.2 kilowatts of power. They both also offer technology that allows you to power your home with power from the truck in the event of an outage. But there are a few technologies that are unique to each truck. The Chevy offers four-wheel steering that significantly reduces the turning radius for this big truck. Chevy also offers a head-up display, which Ford doesn't. Ford, on the other hand, offers onboard scales that can weigh your payload. Speaking of payload, the Ford clearly performs better than the Silverado. 
when it comes to towing, both are pretty close. But Silverado promises an impressive 20,000 pound towing capacity in a future version of the truck. Also impressive is Silverado's range. The F-150 Lightning comes in two battery sizes with two corresponding ranges. In its reveal, Chevy has only released a 400 mile number, which implies that at this time there is only one battery size. I expect that in the future, Chevy will also offer a smaller battery. Important to note that the Ford's numbers are EPA estimates, while those of Chevy's are the manufacturer's estimates. So we'll have to wait until we have official EPA numbers for both these trucks to do an even comparison. At time of launch, Chevy will offer two Silverado trims, the WT or work truck, which is intended for fleets, and a higher end RST. The first RST launched will be a fully loaded first edition trim. Both trucks come in dual motor all wheel drive configuration. For suspension, both get independent front and rear suspensions, but Chevy also offers an optional air suspension. Off-road capabilities exist for both, but we will have to wait until the trucks are available to be able to really test the capabilities. Compared to the Silverado performance numbers, the Ford has less horsepower, but actually has more torque with its standard range battery and is about the same torque compared to the Silverado RST trim. Fastest 0 to 60 times are expected to be in the mid 4 seconds range for both. But there is one feature that gives the Silverado a significant advantage. Peak charge power on the F-150 Lightning is 150 kilowatt. On the Silverado, the peak charge power is 350 kilowatt, leading to much faster charge times. That is truly quite impressive. Even the cutting edge technology Lucid Air has a maximum peak power of 300 kilowatt. So 350 kilowatt, if Chevy can actually deliver that, could be a game changer. So with Silverado's impressive range and peak charge power, it begs the question of will the Silverado topple the F-150 from its number one spot? Well, a lot of that depends on where the Silverado is priced. We now have some good pricing information on the F-150 Lightning, but not much on the Silverado. We do know that the fully loaded RST First Edition is priced at $105,000. But Chevy has also said that the starting price for a WT trim would be just under $40,000. I have a hard time believing that a $40,000 truck will have a range of 400 miles, so I'm assuming that it will be equipped with a smaller battery whose details haven't been revealed yet. Another wild card in this analysis is the federal tax credit. With the current legislation, Ford qualifies for the $7,500 tax credit, but GM does not. If the proposed Build Back Better legislation passes, then both manufacturers would qualify for the tax credit, evening out the playing field. Otherwise, Ford would retain a significant price advantage. But even so, the Silverado, with its impressive specs, might very well prove to be a formidable competitor to the Ford F-150 Lightning. The F-150 Lightning will hit the market in spring of 2022, while the Silverado work truck will arrive a year later in spring of 2023. So we'll have to wait a bit to see how this competition shakes out and if the Silverado can eat into the F-150's market share. Which one would you buy? The Chevy Silverado or the Ford F-150 Lightning? Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like me to compare the Silverado to another EV, let me know the name of that EV too. Please give the video a like, share your comments below and subscribe to the driver download.